Today we're up at the Cricky Beck Infinity Mega Watt site. We had an issue with a battery module because there was a short wall hole. There's a single cell within the system that's charging too quickly and discharging too quickly. So what we're simply going to do is remove that module, put a new module in and balance the system so it's back to the working order. So my name is Wayne Heap. I work for Staterra Energy Operations as a battery storage engineer. I've been doing it around five years now at the Sober. The Terra Energy Operations, they provide a full scope of maintenance or battery storage sites. We do everything from maintenance on battery systems, PCS, inverters, HVAC, fire systems, right up to HV switch gear. So I've been interested in electrical systems since a young age. Years ago, I used to work as a engineer for a healthcare equipment, did that for a number of years, and then slowly kind of moved into the energy storage. What we're going to do first is release the mountings from the battery modules and then we're going to release the fuzz bars and prepare the string for the new battery. The string is already at 30%. We need it at that level because the new battery is going to be 40%. We need it to be a higher state of charge. So we've now safely removed the battery. Um, what we're going to do now is transport this onto the trolley to remove it offside put the new module back onto this lifter, put the new module back in. Some of the time we do work alone, uh, if it's smaller jobs, uh, like today with the battery module swap, the batteries are quite heavy. We have a lifting device which allows us to lift the module into place, but purely because of the weight of the battery, it takes at least two people to move and handle that battery around. So now that we've replaced the battery, what we're going to do next is reinstate the bus bars, uh, the BMU, all the communication lines, so that we can put that battery back into service. I like energy storage because it's always exploring new and better technology. We've got older systems, the, the earlier systems, the battery band systems that we used to use. Um, and we're recently going on to the liquid cooled battery systems. So you're always learning new technologies. So what we're going to do now is we can put this one string back into service, but before we do that, we have to take this one PCS out of service. Put these into stop. We can then isolate them. Start this one now, so we can pop this one back up. Now we can put a, a charge into this system. So we've got the three modules that are off, so we're only charging this one module rather than just wasting energy charging and discharging the whole side. So from this screen, we've got the four modules of this PCS unit. Mm. So module one, two, and four are all offline, but we're actually charging module three because we want to bring the voltage and the state of charge of that string up to 100%. Obviously, we're working inside a container, so the battery systems, you can't technically isolate a battery system because the batteries are always live. So you have to wear quite a lot of protective equipment and just maintaining a good working presence around the battery systems, being aware that there is live equipment around you whilst you're working. So on this graph here, we can see all the eight inverters inside that container. This is a prime example of a bad battery module within a string. So as we scroll past, we can see that that one inverter is jumping up quicker than the rest. All the other seven are 
are pretty in line with each other where this one it gets to about 70% and then it's jumping up to around 95 100%. So we're losing possibly 25 30% capacity on that one string. Obviously when it comes back into a discharge it comes back in line but then drops off quicker again. So we're dropping another 30% capacity on the bottom side. So now we've charged the system back up to 100%. That's now matched with the previously installed battery. Um, so what we're going to do now is remove the, the link cable which jumps past that battery and reinstate, reinstate the battery system back into uh, working use. Um, there's not much I don't like about the job. The only, the only awkward bit slightly is when you're on call sometimes you have to be Sometimes you've woken up early in the morning to have to go to site to repair an object or to investigate an issue. Now that the string that we've been working on is in line with the rest of the strings, we're now going to turn on the rest of the inverters, bring them all up together. Yep, it feels good. Um, the trousers, they, they seem to have a bit more stretch and elastic in them. Um, so even when we're bending down and moving around, lifting the batteries, um, some of the clothing we've used in the past, it's a little bit stiff or a little bit bulky. They seem very flexible and yeah, easy to wear. 